It is a medium difficulty GMAT DS question in number properties, 650 to 700 level question. Concept tested is terminating decimal. We will just understand what kind of a decimal is a terminating decimal and what is a non-terminating decimal. We are not looking at any more properties, we are just understanding the definition. Decimal such as 1 by 2 whose value is a 0 0.5, something like a 4 which is an integer, these are called terminating decimals because they have finite number of digits after the decimal point. Here there is no decimal point at all, so it has 0 digits after it. What is a non-terminating decimal? Non-terminating decimals are 1 which do not terminate, they go on to infinite digits, something like a 1 by 3 which is equal to 0 0.3333 goes on infinitely, something like a 1 by 7 which is equal to 0 0.142857, these 6 digits 142857 keep repeating, so you actually put a bar on top of it, a line on top of it saying that these digits keep repeating, so you are asking is this fraction x upon y a terminating decimal of this kind? or is it a non-terminating decimal, that is what we need to determine. We should be figuring out whether the given information in the two statements will help us arrive at this answer. So, the five answer options, the question is essentially an yes question, the answer to such a question is yes or no. Data is sufficient when we come up with a definite answer. If we mention that, hey, with the information in the statements independently or together, whichever way, right, as, a, as we analyze it, we will figure that out. If it results in saying that this is certainly a terminating decimal, right? Let us say the two statements tell us the decimal that you, the fraction that you have is a 1 by 2, the answer is going to be yes, it is a terminating decimal. Conversely, if the two statements together help us arrive at a fraction, say something like 2 by 3, then we will say this is non terminating. But if we take the information in the statements independently or together, and then I can say that, hey, this example satisfies the information in the given statement or statements, I find a terminating case and a non terminating case then we will say that this information is not sufficient. So, how do we approach this question? We are going to look for a counter example. Pick the information in the statement, see if we can find two examples that will satisfy the information in the statement, one where we get a terminating decimal, one where we get a non-terminating decimal. If you have such a counter example, then we will say the statement is not sufficient. Otherwise, we are able to arrive at one uniform answer, we will look at why it happens, the way it happens, right. Start by evaluating statement 1 x is a multiple of 2, as I mentioned, the approach is counter example, start with example 1, the numerator should be a multiple of 2, go with the 2, 2 divided by 5, 2 by 5 is equal to 0 0.4, certainly a terminating decimal, the answer to the question is an S, we just need to find one counter example where it is a non terminating decimal, x should be a multiple of 2, not just a 2, any multiple of 2 is fine, just going to stick to 2 itself, change y, because nothing is mentioned about y. 2 by 3 is equal to 0 0.6666, this is a non-terminating decimal. So, if x is a multiple of 2, x upon y could be terminating as in 2 by 5 or it could be non-terminating as in 2 upon 3. Have a counter example, sometimes yes, sometimes no. So, the given statement is not sufficient, rule out answer options A and D. What is statement 2? Y is a multiple of 3, again the approach is the same, counter example. Example 1, I am going to go with a 2 upon 3 and get a no. Y should be a multiple of 3? Certainly yes. Is it a terminating decimal? The answer is no. 0 0.66 goes on as a non-terminating decimal. Answer to the question is no. Example 2, Y should be a multiple of 3? Go with the 3. Nothing is mentioned about X. So, take X to be a 6. 6 by 3 is equal to a 2. Is it terminating? All integers are terminating decimals. So, the answer is an yes. So, sometimes no, sometimes yes, we do not have a conclusive answer with statement 2 either. Statements independently are not sufficient, 1 alone not sufficient, 2 alone not sufficient. With 1 alone not being sufficient, we ruled out A and D. With 2 alone not being sufficient, we are ruling out B. We are down to C or E. Let's combine and see whether it makes sense. We want X to be a multiple of 2, Y to be a multiple of 3 and we are going to approach it using counter example. Example 1, X is a multiple of 2, Y is a multiple of 3 beautiful, both conditions satisfied, this is equal to 0 0.6666, the answer is a no. Example 2, x is a multiple of 2, 6, y is a multiple of 3, 3, this is equal to a 2, is it a terminating decimal? Yes, because it is an integer. Despite combining the statements, because both these examples satisfy the information given in the two statements, despite combining the statements. We still get a no and an S, which means counter examples exist. The given data is not sufficient to determine whether X upon Y is a terminating decimal. Statements together are not sufficient 
choice E is the correct answer to the question.